From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Kent's Meats and Grocery is much more than a grocery store. We carry a full line of quality meats, local and organic vegetables, and a large variety of fish, Green Mountain Smart Control pellet grills, and a full deli case of sandwiches and side dishes. Well, it's the one week anniversary of Weather NorCal. I want to thank everyone for subscribing, for downloading the app, for doing everything you can to help support this channel. Tell your friends, tell your family. Let's get the word out there. As I look at the analytics of the app, I'm kind of seeing it spread uh, across the entire region. I'd like to see more people in the outlying communities discover Weather NorCal so they can take advantage of the neighborhood forecast. So if you have any friends or family uh, in any of our neighborhoods, Trinity County, the coast, Siskiyou County, Modoc County, the East Eastern Mountains, which would include the mountains of Shasta, Hama, Butte Counties, not to mention Lassen and Plumas Counties, Susanville. If you have friends or family there, Susanville is getting their own personalized forecast. It's, it's great. Uh, and of course, Modoc County, Alturas, Mount Shasta. So again, I can kind of keep going over all the areas. But you can get us on uh, Facebook, uh, Mike Kruger, Weather NorCal. You can also go to Twitter. Also, I highly recommend that you go to youtube.com slash at Weather NorCal and subscribe to the channel and even put on the bell alerts because what that will do is tell you when I upload a video so you can get the latest. In fact, the videos go down first on YouTube and then they make their way over to Roku and Fire TV. So it, it, there's a little bit of a delay there. So uh, YouTube is where you can get it first, but uh, Roku, Fire TV, that is where you can get, of course, the 24 hour channel coming to Apple TV soon. And don't forget about the app, both now available for both the uh, Apple uh, for both Apple and Android devices. So be sure to check that out. All right, let's get to the forecast. Here's the deal: we've got slightly cooler to start off the week, and I say slightly cooler, only by a few degrees. And when you think about it, the valley saw highs of 109. So if you drop it down by a few degrees, it's still very hot out there. But we do expect a gradual cooling trend, and I say that because it's really not starting off cooling off a whole lot to begin with, but we're going to notice a bigger drop in our temperatures by the end of the week and a possibility for some thunderstorms in some of the higher elevations in particular. We'll get to that in a second. Still have that heat advisory for Siskiyou and Modoc counties through Wednesday with those temperatures continuing to be a bit of a problem. Also, this was issued earlier this morning by the National Weather Service. There is a coastal flood advisory that takes effect 11 o'clock tonight through 11 a.m. It's mainly due to the high astronomical tide in the area. And if you live in the area, especially around Humboldt Bay, you know some of those flood prone areas during these coastal flood advisories due to the high tides. So just be aware that it's gonna be an overnight event. As I said, it will expire at 1 a.m. Tuesday morning. So if you're watching this before the update for your Tuesday morning, be aware that it will expire at 1 a.m. Tuesday morning. There's your planner for the coast. Temperatures low 60s, about 100, 101 for Hoopa. And of course, much warmer in the valley. 107 for Redding, 106 for Red Bluff, and Chico a high of 104 degrees. And for the mountains, we're looking at temperatures around 100 for Weaverville and Wairica, Mount Shasta City about 98. Uh, there's Susanville at 93, as well as Bernie and Paradise a bit warmer at about 95 degrees for your Tuesday forecast. So the heat is shifting southward. And what's causing that to shift southward is this pocket of warm air. Now, this is warm as opposed to hot because it's kind of the transition between the cooler air to our north and the heat down to the south and east. This is a bit of what we call a trough of low pressure. And that's the reason why our temperatures are dropping slightly. And we're gonna notice temperatures dropping closer to normal by the end of the week around Thursday. That then kind of moves overhead. And the reason being, we've got some cooler air coming in from Canada that's gonna dive down even more to the south South. That's going to keep those warmer temperatures in place for us and keep that major heat down to our south and east. However, after this weekend, what we're going to start to see happen is this heat is going to make its way back up closer to us as that colder air retreats. And as a result, we'll probably see another increase in our temperatures as we go into early next week. So let's take a look at your temperature outlook. We're looking at above normal temperatures here for the next six to 10 days, but that's barely within that above normal. So that's what I was talking about, how highs will be closer to normal, even as we go to the extended outlook over the next eight to 14 days, kind of getting closer to that near normal. So no major heat waves heading our way, but when we look at our satellite, we still have that heat wave in place with that high pressure. And of course that heat kind of really uh, expanding northward in Northern California. Let's take a look at future cast and a couple of things we're gonna point 
point out is the dry conditions for tomorrow. But what I want to point out here is some of the fog developing again tonight for especially Humboldt County, not as much for Del Norte County. And then as we go into Tuesday afternoon, we start to see that fog begin to dissipate, especially in Del Norte County. Probably still some clouds along the coast of Humboldt County, but notice we're not seeing much activity, if anything, really for the mountains. Now you'll notice a few pop-ups right here. We can't rule out a stray shower or a thunderstorm Tuesday afternoon. Now we're going to take you into Wednesday. Let's take you into Wednesday morning, and you can see that fog still developing out along Eureka. Not so much for Del Norte County. But a couple of things will happen as we go through the day on Wednesday. Number one, the fog is really going to push itself eastward out along the coast. So Crescent City, you'll eventually be looking at those mostly cloudy skies. But tomorrow, looking at mainly sunny. But look at this. For Wednesday, we're seeing some thunderstorms around Siskiyou County and not to mention Modoc County. As of right now, it doesn't look like we have much in the eastern mountains. So Lassen County, Plumas County, eastern mountains of Shasta County, most likely staying dry. But we could still see a stray shower or two, especially make their way to the north end of the eastern mountains. All right, so here's what we have in store for us tonight. Temperatures upper 60s to around 70 for the valley and in the 50s and 60s for the higher elevations and along the coast in the low 50s. Let's take a look at your Tuesday forecast and highs. Yes, it's actually might be a little bit warmer today. Or excuse me. It might be a little bit warmer Tuesday than it was today because of that right there. 107 for Redding, 106 for Red Bluff, 104 in Chico. And there you can see up in El Turris about 90, 65 degrees for Crescent City, Eureka about 62 and Etna, a high of about 97 degrees. We take a look at those seven day forecasts around the region and there you can see that chance for thunderstorms for Mount Shasta, Siskiyou County in general, for Modoc County, a chance for thunderstorms. And I've got a slight chance in there for Susanville. I don't think they're gonna make, their quite, make its way as far south as Susanville, maybe northern Lassen County, but I don't really anticipate most of, I anticipate most of the activity to be north of the eastern mountains. But notice the drop in the temperatures. We're in the upper 80s to low 90s uh, for the weekend. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast for the valley. It's gonna be hot, temperatures well over 100 degrees, but temperatures will start to drop. But notice the temperatures drop come Friday, Saturday, even Sunday, mid to upper 90s, right around or just below normal. But notice the temperatures increasing again Monday of next week. That'll be the case for Weaverville. But for the coast, obviously, looks like we'll see a few more clouds in Eureka than we saw today for tomorrow. And then that fog and those low clouds make their way back in for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with temperatures upper 50s to low 60s.